three days without water. But the people of Shelby won't let its community go without. I haven't I'm watched, just, I haven't, I haven't done anything either. Come here, come here. Sunday morning, residents of Shelby were notified that water would be shut off in order to fix a water leak. After what was thought to be a simple fix, the water was turned back on, but not for long. Monday brought a new day and a new break. Do you have water? No, we don't. With no water for residents stretching across three blocks, Pastor Chad Scarsborough uh, of First Baptist Church the, opened the their doors and, and their faucets. You know, our facilities, they're, they're not ours, they're just entrusted to us, and we want to steward them and uh, let folks uh, use the things that they need to use uh, to help them where they need to be helped. The church has two facilities, one still without water, while the other side is fully equipped with toilets, a kitchen, and showers. It's just more of a all-purpose kind of community building that, that has been used over the years. But yeah, so like I said, we just left the door open and um, folks were able to come in and use what they needed to use. And we were not given a direct number, but it has been estimated to about 15 to 20 households without water. It can't be helped. I mean, it wasn't anybody's fault. Nobody did anything. You know, I mean, it's just kind of the nature of the beast where we live. I appreciate your water. Yes. So, yes. I appreciate so, the church so we can yes. wash and have coffee and flush. It's yeah. very important. It's very important, well, yes. We did reach out to the city of Shelby to ask where they are in the process, and they said that they hope to have the water back on by tonight. In Shelby, Lindsay Singer, MTN News.